I think another factor that contributes to uh, the decline in productivity in the United States is that we've had this, um, this uh, stagnation of, of wages in the United States for 40, 50 years. Um, and as a result, because we have a very weak labor movement and we've had uh, governments hostile to raising the minimum wage, uh, gov governments hostile to expanding the welfare state and so forth. Um, and so if you pay workers very poorly, um, one of the things that happens is that you don't encourage businesses to automate and, or to technologically improve their, their, the way that they do their business. So the lower the wages, the less pressure there is on the economy uh, to innovate technologically. And we see that Germany, for instance, is a society with more robots per capita than the United States, but also very competitive uh, wage growth. So um, one of the factors, I think, is that we haven't got high enough wages in the United States. We go to the next slide, corporate concentration. This is the old Schump Schumpeter uh, observation that um, if you're in a highly, if you're a small firm in a highly competitive market, you don't have resources to do a lot of innovation. You just try to figure out how you can make marginal improvements in what everybody's doing and compete in that economy. And <laughs> at the other extreme, if you're in a market where you're the sole seller, if you're a monopoly, then you don't have to innovate. Uh, you can sell whatever product you want. So we have cable companies at one end in the United States. They're monopolies. They have terrible customer service. And uh, very, we have very poor um, <coughs> internet coverage and uh, uh, internet speeds in the United States as a consequence. And at the other extreme, you, know, you have your local pop, popsicle stand. Um, and they don't have the resources to do any technological innovation. So technological innovation happens in uh, competitive markets that aren't so competitive that you can't accrue, accrue capital resources to invest in some kind of innovation. 